But this, this is your defence. If they do manage to do that, I don't think they'll get through that barrier. No, I tried. Oh, they have? No, no, I've, I've, ripped, it, I've ripped a car up. What, by mistake? <laughs> so welcome back to the channel guys. Today we're here at Europe's largest auction group, British Car Auctions, here at Misham. So, I can see there's an entrance down there, so let's go and have a look. You can just see down the back there where the vehicles are being lined up and being driven through the auction hall to the right where there's actually real people in there bidding for the vehicles under the cover is where they all queue the vehicles up ready to be driven through the auction hall and here we are at the main entrance this is the BCA click and collect service point entry control security will be very high here so that the wrong car isn't driven out <laughs> by mistake even if you win a vehicle at auction you get some sort of receipt some sort of security pass and you have to show them it and that there on the window will be where the key is to the vehicle like a key safe that's hooked over the glass You'll notice that all of the vehicles have them. That's why the, the requirement for security is very high. You know, anybody could just go in, hack open the, the key safe and attempt to drive the vehicle out. So these vehicle barriers here will be much stronger than you normally see. While we're here, and we know of the such high risk of being able to get the key inside. Let's just see how strong the security barrier actually is. Because we've seen these security barriers just being driven through before and sort of rammed through. This one is on a sliding motion. You'll notice that it's got, uh, yeah, it's on a sliding wheel motion. It just goes from side to side. This ain't no normal barrier, is it? This is one of those really... You'll never be able to ram that through, would you? Because normally you see them like on a hinge where they come up and down. Yeah. And that would be no good for you guys, would it? Because no. there's so many keys around, aren't they, in there. There is such a high risk of people being able to get the key, get the vehicle. They won't get the key. Well, there is a way to open them safe, you know, on the window. Oh, yeah, yeah. So what I'm saying is the risk, I'm doing a risk assessment. Um, the risk of getting the key and people being able to get the vehicle in motion inside is quite high. But this, this is your defence. If they do manage to do that, I don't think they'll get through that barrier. No, I tried. Oh, they have? No, no, I've, I've, ripped, it, I've ripped a car up. up one. What, by mistake? <laughs> what, is that somebody who's um, not noticed that the barrier is still down? No, uh, what it is, it's shit trying to get in before tried to get in before the barrier was shut oh so it was closing she's tried to enter and then it closed on her oh yes sod what did it do did it protrude into the vehicle yeah oh yeah but no have you ever had it while it's been closed an attempt to escape no that'll be interesting to see how it actually performs because it's quite high isn't it the main the main structure of it is about that high all right yeah do you use the same barriers on all the entrances? Yeah, there's no one down the bottom of the road there as well. Yeah, I'll go and have a look. It's quite interesting to see. Um, the, the only other barrier that I've seen better than this is at the HSBC Cash Depot in Tamworth, and it's shaped like a V. Yeah. So if you try and ram raid into it, then you're never going to do it. But yeah, it'll be interesting to see a test on this. There shouldn't be a post on this side, should there? Like a, an anchor. What, they should or they shouldn't? Oh, they should, yeah, there's missing. So actually, this is a weak point now. Let's have a look on this side. Yeah, and even this one, it's not fully engaged, is it? 
So you get your maximum strength when it's fully engaged into this clamp here. So really, it is good, but it's, you're not getting the best out of it. Don't forget we've got posts as well coming up. Yeah, they're not electronic though, are they? They're manual. Yeah. So you'll never, if you've got an attempted escape, you've got to really engage that fully into there, mate. If it's not fully... It, it does go in there, look. Yeah, that's perfect. When you're closing it, make sure it closes fuller. Yeah. All right. Have a good day, mate. Thank you. So although you can fully engage the in gate, the out gate can't be fully engaged. So in fact, it is made to prevent an escape. But now because of the defect on the missing post and the fact that it can't fully engage into that, that post to actually uh, make it anchor where it should, it's lost its uh, stability, unfortunately. So that has failed. This one's failed, mate, all right. Right, let's go and check out the others. So here we are at the commercial centre entrance. And we've got a load of cinch.co.uk transporters. But yeah, nice vehicles. What else can we see from this entrance? Pedestrian walkway, encouraging you to go in. And the gate, oh yeah, it's locked. But even again, these barriers here, they would normally be very, very strong but that's only if they're used properly. And this point here, this clamp, actually goes around this part. So that can... Why don't you close the gates properly, mate? Um, they're not closed properly, are they? No. Could, do you know this part here? That's where the strength is. Yeah, well, you? I'm just, I'm an auditor. Right. Yeah, that's not good enough. Um, if a vehicle wanted to make its way through these gates at the minute, these barriers, it's very weak. It's only strong when they're fully closed. Yeah, you're being told wrong. Who, who told you to do that? So what they've decided to do, or what has been told to do, is leave it open like this, so pedestrians can come in and out. Not only is that a security weakness, but it leaves the gate it's designed to be strong. And if they're not using it properly, it's a weak gate. And they've got very high valuable assets on site. Now, if you want your pedestrians to enter, that's what this gate's for. And you know, it's all sign written up. Pedestrians walking in. It's even got the walkway sign better. But obviously it's closed. They're being lazy. Rather than the pedestrians going through. And it's probably even got paint on the floor let's have a look so as they come through there yeah the pedestrian walkway brings it across here and into security there so yeah i'm sorry but that's just being laser and, you know the guy earlier said they've got bollards on the ground as well, well there they are but they're manual they're not automatic so that's a very very weak security barrier there And look what's missing from the top of the post. Where's your camera gone? <laughs> you know, are you re really relying on that one camera? So as we continue to have a look around, this one's taken a bit of a knock in, isn't it? Look at that. Wouldn't want to buy that at auction, any price. Amazon Locker, see that? Only if they purchase that temporary shelter from a temporary Amazon installation. And here we've got another cinch.co.uk transporter. Now, interestingly, it's full. 
So are Cinch bringing their part exchanges here, maybe? Ah, that would make more sense, wouldn't it? Find it, buy it, sell it. Yeah. This may be the, the outlet for Cinch. Try and get as much as we can back for that vehicle we had to pay out for the part exchange. So these certainly look like old Amazon vehicles. Yeah, you even got the Prime logo still visible on the side. Got quite a few of them here. And that key safe look, how it's open. It clearly says Amazon Prime there, definitely in the Prime colors. So we had a good walk around the perimeter there. Not much interesting to see, but yeah, the gate is still open. So even though I told them I'm an auditor, <laughs> they still have decided to keep it open. Are they bothered? Nice bike. Harley Davidson, I think. So yeah, let's um, get some drone footage of this place. From this spot here, we'll actually stand over here where my bike is, <laughs> the bike. Let's see what this place looks like from above. Let's get David out. So just before I take off with the drone, which is just down here, look, I've stood in this exact spot to prove a point because their main security camera cannot see me because it's being blocked by that box or that speaker, whatever it is. Therefore, if this one was present they could use that to keep an eye on me but because they can't <laughs> they're now having to come to the door like they just did then and watch me manually just thought I'd mention that right then David's ready as shown on the screen just there there's no restrictions in this area so let's go see what it looks like from above. So we need to go nice and high for this one because it's such a large area to see. It looks like we've got some sort of vehicle preparation going on here, maybe valeting. Queuing them up to go inside for some reason. We're seeing more sort of commercial in this corner. Loads of white vans. And that little orange one there, same colour as my bike. <laughs> oh, is that a Mini? What we got there? Out Citroen, Ford, Audi, all sorts of vehicles down here. So that would be the outer, well, the furthest to the left boundary. And then it spreads all the way down there. Look at that. Let's get a bit higher, a bit further out. Get the whole site in one picture. So you can really experience the scale of this place. And BCA, if you're watching, you can also use this image or video if you wish. Free of charge. Print it off, put it in your head office. Maximum wall on a frame or something. Reached. Look at that. Let's go around this way. Imagine the operation, the, uh, the structure, the procedures that all these guys have to follow. Like a military operation running this sort of thing. This looks like some sort of queue going into that uh, undercover area there.
you know, if you make it out the other side, <laughs> you're lucky. Oh dear. And then it goes all the way down there. And all the way down there. Jesus, that is humongous. I bet all these businesses that are dotted in between, I bet they've all had an offer. Can we buy your land, please? <laughs> we need the space. And all these ones down here, look. Surrounded by houses. Let's have a look what's around the surrounding area. So, housing estate, countryside, <laughs> auction centre, more houses. Oh, a quarry. Is that a quarry down there? Let's zoom in on that. Yeah, some sort of earth moving activities going on. A wind turbine in the distance. A farm. And back to where we are right now. What's that little dome structure at the back? That looks interesting, doesn't it? Might have to check that out. So yeah, just a massive car park <laughs> full of vehicles that have been either part exchanged or, you know, webuyanycar.com, they actually run a business on it, don't they? They know how much they're gonna get at the auction, well, That's roughly. They'll give you um, a grand or two less so that they can make their mark up. They'll arrive in one of these cinch transporters in bulk. There's another outlay for them. And after paying all their outgoing costs, their staff, their premises where they buy the vehicle off you, the transporters, there must still be a profit in there for them. How you doing, mate? Look at that. Look at the shop for that. Where, where it? It's amazing, isn't it? It's just over there. How big is it? 249 gram. Tiny little thing. But it's amazing that really, how like we buy any car.com and cinch and all these type of places, they can still make a profit after all their overheads. <clears throat> you know, their staff paying these transporters, the premises where you actually go in and get your price, all the advertising online. So they really must pay a low price from the public or they must get a high price at auction there's a profit somewhere isn't there That's just the whole way the dealership system works and always had done so what is it then is it they must pay the public a really low amount so what are you saying Who's... where's the profit in it so what are you insinuating something's being ripped off no no where... i'm just trying to understand where the profit is because there's big co all i can see is big costs <clears throat> well all the cars coming from the likes of lease companies. Oh, we buy any car.com. The member of the public is encouraged to yeah. go online and, and get a quote. The majority of cars you see are cars that have been leased for one year. Oh, like on the cinch lorries? They're the ones that have been sold. Or you get cinch part exchanges coming back in again. Yeah, they're coming in, aren't they? Not going out. <clears throat> Prepped as well. You get cars coming, they're prepped, and then they get they go out again. You, you're, be, you're being a bit evasive. Why don't you want to tell me? Are you, are you involved, are you? Tell you what. Well, let, let's say Cinch, for example, they've given, let's say they've brought that car there for three grand. Yeah? They've paid three grand out. They've got all the costs for the transporter, all the online costs, all the advertising. How much are they going to get for that car in here? The person that sold it to Cinch can sell it to anyone. But they've chose to so sell it to... So they would only sell it to Cinch if they, if they get a better price than they would do somewhere else. But it really is much easier for the customer to sell it to someone like Cinch or we buy any car. You ain't got to go through the hassle of meeting somebody, getting the silly yeah, offer, you've got saying to go no. Somewhere. It's not like you're doing it online. You've actually physically got to go somewhere. I've got to catch a bus. All right. What's your job? A driver. Oh, yeah. All right. Didn't really tell me much. <laughs> Have you been signed a, you signed a secrecy form or something? All oh, right, okay. Have a good day anyway. <laughs> Patting the bike on the way by. 
I tried to get a bit of information out about him to see, um, you know, how is it so profitable? Or is it just loads of little profits and they all add up? Anyway, time to wrap this one up. Let's get the drone back. So final thoughts about BCA car auctions here in Misham. They're clearly not bothered about maintaining maximum security. Now, what is the future of these BCA auctions? You know, let's say 10 years time, petrol and diesel vehicles are less popular and we've just got electric vehicles. They've been used for three or five years or whatever they've been used for. And the battery inside is very, coming to the end of its life. It's not gonna last forever, is it? So would you really wanna buy a vehicle from an auction knowing that the battery has been used so much? The cost to replace these batteries in these sort of vehicles, you know, you've gotta compare all that. So what's the future of a car auction now? I don't know the answer, but I put the question out there. So that's it. I'll wrap this one up here. If you have enjoyed that video, do give it a thumbs up for me and I'll see you on the next one, guys. Bye bye for now. My friend, what's stopping me from coming in here? Me. <laughs> you? <laughs> no, seriously. Where's the, um, what's stopping me from coming in? What are you in for? What's it doing to your business? Just, just like somebody that wants to, um, like an opportunist, where they come in and they just try and steal something. That's to stop me coming in and steal something. No, the gap, you mean the... the... Yeah, yeah. Could you know this little bit here on the gate, when it locks into there, that makes it very strong, doesn't it? Oh, it doesn't reach that far. It doesn't reach that far. Gap, so in case I've got to high tail it. They made this gate with that flap for a reason. The so it locks. Under the new. The gate's under the new. Oh, so it's not. Well, I mean, the Would you say that this is a weak part of your security where people could possibly breach it? Yeah. But I would have thought that part is making it stronger when it locks in. Well, we've got the to the yeah, they, they won't be quick enough. So say like, let's just say six guys come in, they've got the keys, because they're all on the windows, aren't they, in the little safes. So you've got six guys on site with, with keys, yeah? Number one, smashes the gate open. You've got five cars that can easily escape because you've not closed it properly. Well, sure, that's fine. You're welcome. Do you get what I mean though? There's a risk of that happening. You're welcome to them. It's a shit. <laughs> All right, take care, guys. If we steal any cars out here, they'll bring them back because they don't like them. We only had the conversation for a funny video that I'm putting online. All right, no problem. Cheers, pal. So, before we leave this industrial estate, Let's have a quick look to see if the gate is engaged properly. Or was it just for show for the camera? Oh yes, it's still in. Well done, my friend. Perfect. And look at this side. <laughs> we didn't expect them to fix it that quick, did we? But yeah, still a weak part. You know, on the other side, they've actually left it open. They've left a gap like that for pedestrians to walk through. <laughs> oh, you couldn't write it, could you?